Now, we welcome Patrick Hoyne to the studio this morning. He's a retired Air Force attack pilot and officer. We welcomed you to the station here, oh, what was it, about a year ago or so? Because you were teaching us about active shooter situations and how to respond to those. But now, MSUB and Q2 is teaming up to bring a presentation to the public next week. So I thank you for taking part in that. But um, why is it important for the public to learn how to respond to an active shooter situation? First of all, thank you for hosting me this morning. And it's important to the public because even though murder and severe crime like that is on the decline. The number of these active shooter incidents is rising. And unfortunately, it's becoming more prominent in society and we simply need to be prepared. We need to have in a uh, mental state that has an individual plan of what we're gonna do, how we can respond if suddenly something starts happening and we're right there. So it, it's just a simple preparation. It's a mindset mm -hmm. that, that we change and, and how we go about our day. And what are the three actions that you suggest people take if they do find themselves in an active shooter situation? It is a simple concept of run, hide, fight. Those are the actions in priority. If you can run and get away from the shooter, your chance of survival are very, very high. Hiding sometimes is also a very uh, efficient way to try and save yourselves and in an absolute worst case situation be prepared to fight resist in any way possible and that advice when you pre had your presentation here really sunk in and it's something I'll never forget um, on a personal note why did you decide to um, take on these presentations and, and travel to, um, to educate others I have a rather unique background I'm a retired Air Force fighter pilot and in the Air Force, I was a tactics development test pilot, and I was also an aircraft mishap investigator. And those two backgrounds came together when I was asked one day to simply prepare a presentation on how people can respond if an active shooter should come into their location. And suddenly, all those things I used to do in the Air Force in a fighter cockpit, mm -hmm. I'm now just doing them out in public in a totally different venue and my message resonates with people. I, I offer perspectives that help them understand what's going on and what they can do to have themselves prepared to respond with the goal being to, re to survive and save as many of those around you as possible. And the message has really been resonating with people. And anyone watching at home, as I mentioned, you can hear more from Patrick next week. MSUB teaming up with KTVQ Thursday, June 14th, MSUB Petro Theater. He will have a presentation for free. It starts at 630, so be sure to get there early, get your seat, and uh, hear everything he has to say. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We do appreciate everything you're doing with us. Well, thank you to KTVQ and MSUB. We really appreciate this opportunity. All right, we'll be right back after this break.